What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, today we have some exciting news. I figured I'd go ahead and start the vlog since it's still a little bit daylight outside. Uh, by the time we get to the shop to pick up the trailer, it's probably going to be dark so you guys aren't going to be able to see anything anyway. So I figured I'd go ahead and start. So last night I got some news from Chris at RiseFab and he is done with my cage. So I'm super excited to be going to pick that up. So we are on our way to the shop now to pick up the trailer and then we'll be heading over to Chris's shop to pick up the car. Uh, he does lack the anti-intrusion bars in the front of the cage at the moment, but he is working on them and they should be done by the time I get there. So it shouldn't be a problem. Um, as you guys know, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Uh, this is a big step toward the goal and getting the car ready for Pro-Am next year. Um, this is actually the biggest step. So everything else is just gonna come naturally uh, as the year progresses and um, by next year we're gonna have more sponsors hopefully and we're gonna have our car ready. The only thing that we lack is just getting to the events and scoring some points. So I'm super excited to bring you guys along with me today and show you guys kind of what Chris does as far as FD cages go and what better example to show than a car that belongs to me. All right guys, so we made it to the shop. Uh, here at Rise Fab, uh, we're here with Chris. Um, first look on the car, it looks amazing. Uh, I have to say, hands down, by far best work that I've seen in person. Uh, I'm not just saying that because I came to him, but I'm saying it just so you guys know. Um, I know he takes a lot of pride in his work. And uh, so I'm gonna kinda let Chris go over what he's done with the car. So you guys kind of know um, what he was going based off of as far as the rule book goes, where he had to put welds, where he had to put bins and stuff like that. So if you want to run us through it. Yeah, so as far as this roll cage here, it's uh, meant for a 400D Pro-Am spec or Pro-2 spec. Uh, generally speaking, the rule's about the same all the way up to the Pro-1 for the most part. Uh, door bars go about halfway up the door. In case you have any collisions, you know you're safe from that point of view. Um, from there, it's a six-point cage. He wanted to add rear X to it, so I added the rear X. Um, I gave him a little gift, gave him a couple of gussets since the windshield was out anyways. Uh, from there, you have, that's different from other roll cages and like um, maybe SCCA or Time Attack is the anti-intrusion bars. That's one thing that, that Formula D Pro-Am rules require, and uh, thus we put that in there. Um, from there, it's generally just a basic six-point cage that um, really any of you guys that drift really kind of need, especially if you plan on getting close. I think it's, it's something that a lot of dudes should, uh, should invest in. Um, but yeah, other than that, I just try to take as much pride as I can, and I, I build the cage as if I'm about to buy that person's car. So I, you know, I want to have something that I also enjoy. You know, he, he threw these gussets in for me as just kind of a... Christmas gift. A Christmas gift, <laughs> um, which I really wanted in the beginning, but it wasn't going to make or break me um, as if I had them or not. So thank you, Chris, for that. And uh, as you guys can see, he has put his weld tag on here just so he can represent. And I will represent for him in any way I can. I um, a couple stickers for you. Do what? On the side of your uh, fender. Oh yeah, he added uh, he added his company logo to the fender. All right, guys. So we have come to another day here. As you can see, I'm wearing different clothes. Um, we're at the shop now, and today what we're going to tackle is painting the cage that uh, Chris did for us. Went by Home Depot and got some paint supplies. Um, this can of paint was actually. Uh, it belonged to a guy named Austin who just recently painted his cage that Chris did and I saw kind of what this paint looked like on the cage and it's a really cool textured finish uh, so I figured I'd grab his other can that he had. Uh, it says dark bronze but it's actually going to be like a gray color so I think it'll look really good and it's going to be like a textured color. You can kind of see on the can what it's going to look like but then we got our tape, our paint cup, two brushes mask and then some scotch wrap pads to, to scuff up the cage with. And I already scuffed this side up. Um, looks pretty good. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to do on this side. I started doing the, the crossbar here and now I've just got to do the 
other side and then those rear bars and then I'll be done. Yeah, probably about an hour worth of scuffing and then it'll be completed and ready for paint. And then we're gonna spray it down probably with some brake cleaner and uh, clean all the grime and stuff off the metal. So, but yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So just stick around and you'll get to see some, some painted cage. Christmas, by the way, my daughter's one of these dolls that have skin like real people, what? made out of silicone. And the water baby? I don't know what it is. Two hundred dollars is what it is. For a doll? And each doll is two hundred dollars. Holy crap! I had to buy two of them. All right, that's all you so get. that was three presents totaling the nine hundred dollars. What you need to do is say, listen, girls. These dolls that I'm getting you next year, you have to buy them Christmas gifts. <laughs> Show you what you guys are like. My four-year-old will appreciate that. <laughs> so now we are going to hit it with some brake cleaner. Um, one thing I've seen is to make sure that you get brake cleaner if you're going to use brake cleaner as opposed to prep all. Um, make sure you get brake cleaner that is non-chlorinated. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the benefit is of it, but when people say to do it, I'm going to do it. Um, so we've pretty much done the other side already. Uh, now we got to do the driver's side. I did the, the cage over there and then I did the rear down tubes and I did the cross brace in the middle. Um, so now we're just going to do the driver's side and then it'll be time to throw in our first coat. Spray a little bit of this. Right. Yeah. And then you can watch all the dirt come off of this thing. After one pass, that's what it looks like. So as you can see, not only are we kind of cleaning it of any oil and stuff, but also just a bunch of dirt that's on here from whenever, you know, the tube was laying in the shop and also whenever he was welding, I'm sure there was a bunch of dust and debris flying up so we're wanting to get all that off so that the paint sticks pretty good um, and the, the scuffing just helps it even more so um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish all this and then we'll throw down a first coat Cup. You can kind of see what we're working with here. It's gonna look like a gray kind of color, but it's gonna be textured, which is pretty cool. I guess you can't really see it as a liquid form, but um, once we get it on there, you'll be able to see it. Uh, Austin, who I got the paint from, said that <clears throat> when he put it on his, he could just sit there and watch it uh, start mending together and then uh, start to texturize, which was he said was pretty cool. Um, so we're going to try this and see what it looks like. So now I see what he was saying when he said that it had kind of a wrinkle finish and you can watch it. Just as I've been painting, just the last five minutes, you can see that it's already starting to wrinkle up and looks really cool actually and I feel like with it being this way it's gonna be a lot more durable and easier to keep clean but um, you know this is the first coat so we will be adding another coat and I think it'll actually make it a little bit darker because um, his looked like a really really dark gray and could have just been once it dries it turns darker but um, I'd say you probably had another coat on it so we'll just keep adding some coats all right so I'm gonna show you guys something Bear cage. Shazam. Looking good. Looks really good. Of course, this is 
all one coat, which I think I'm just gonna do one coat, and it should be okay. I'm going on pretty heavy with some parts of it, so the only thing we have left is to do this door bar and that A-pillar. And I'm finishing up that anti intrusion bar now, so. She's coming along. All right, guys, I pretty much finished with the whole cage now. Keep finding little bare spots that I just can't get to with a brush, so um, hopefully those will be okay. I don't expect this cage to rust out just from a couple of bare spots, especially since, uh, you know, it's not like it's getting rained on every day, so hopefully that'll be okay. If you guys do know, however, if that is bad for it, let me know and I will fix it, but they're just small, minuscule spots that I cannot reach with a brush and uh, so they're gonna stay bare metal um, unless I can do something else which I don't know how else I'm gonna get in there because it's like where the roof line comes up and touches the cage it's hard to get anything in there and then between the uh, actual chassis and the cage it's hard to get anything in there so but we got about 98% of the whole cage completed and I have to say it looks phenomenal um, I think you guys will really like it. It looks a lot different in person, so I'll show you what it looks like, but it looks totally different in person. So here's what it looks like. This side has been done for a little while now, so it's almost completely dry. Um, it looks amazing. And like I said, this doesn't do it justice. In person, the, the textured effect and the color is awesome. It's more of like a gray. In the video, it does look kind of like a bronze, but it's actually gray. Uh, anyway, that's what we did today. We wrapped that up. It was so hard. Getting in there and painting all that stuff. There's probably still some bare stuff in there too, or thin coat, but it's just so hard to get in there. Now, if I had the rear window out, it would have made it a heck of a lot easier, but as you can see, we don't have all of the windows out, so uh, maybe next year or, you know, Sometime before Pro 2, if I make it that far, we'll take all the windows out, replace it all with plexiglass, and just spray the whole interior, take everything out, the sound editing and everything, and spray the whole interior with the cage and make it all kind of one color. But as for now, this looks great. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better color. Thanks, Austin, for the suggestion. Um, it's awesome, and I'm, I'm super pumped for what's next. I got a put the dash back in it uh, probably do that at a later date once the paint dries and stuff and I can put the seats back in it and uh, mock up the dash to make it work um, I will have to cut it a little bit but it's all good but anyway hope you guys have enjoyed the video as much as I have enjoyed doing it uh, you know we we are stepping into kind of a, a down season right now so any little bit of car stuff I get I'm gonna make sure and do content on it because the channel is going to be really slow well it is going to be even slower than it is now but um we're, there's just not a whole lot going on there's no events but anyway that's going to be it for this one and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed until next time keep calm drift on